What's going on? This is GD Beat Studio back with another beat construction remake video and today's beat is going to be the instrumental from ASAP Rocky's song Praise the Lord. It's his, one of his most popular songs and I'm going to show you what I have here before I dive into it and recreate it from scratch. Let's hear what it sounds like. So we have eight elements. The reason I have nine here is because the flute preset that I'm using from Silent it doesn't let me have any harmonies in there. It only allows you for to have one melodic line. And that's actually where I'm going to start. I'm going to get rid of everything that we have here, and I'm going to go through what I have exactly. And I think the flute is the first place to start because that's the hardest, hardest element. So I have a kick. I got a clap. Closed hi-hat. This little knock, like kind of like a rim shot, knocking sound percussion. Open hi hat. Strings, which I'm just using actually something from the default FL Studio pack. And then I have a silence preset for the flute. It's called Pan Flute. Same thing here. And then the 808 is a Serum 808. What I did here is I lowered the decay right here. So you can see this curve is a little bit faster than it normally is. Otherwise, you can change how that works, but I'm leaving it like that for now. So let's go into the flute. There's two octaves of this flute, but let's start with the main one. First note is a D sharp. And let's see, make sure our snap is nice and what kind of where we want it. We, don't want, we kind of want a gap in between the notes, so that's what I found out the first time I did it. You don't want anything to be connected. Try nice. You see, I'm clicking these notes first because they have the exact length that I want. Let's listen to the old thing. All right. If you wonder why I did how I got that so fast, it's because I've already done it. So now what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take this, copy it. So I'm gonna make it twice as long over here. And now I'm actually going to take this. I'm going to copy the whole thing, control C, down control V, paste it there. And what I'm going to do with it here is I'm going to take it down a third. Down to C. Now this is going to create some problems because not all these harmonies are perfect. So let me just get rid of what I have going on here because I can copy the corrected one later. That note is wrong, so we need to take that down. This note is wrong as well. And I've done this already, so I know the last part is like this. And then we can copy that. One important thing to notice is that the main main melody flute, the higher part, is much louder, you can see, than I than I have the second flute at. That's just how it sounds in the song, so that's why I put it there. All right, so now this the rest of it's going to come together pretty quickly. Strings, this is a pretty easy part. It just repeats this over and over.
on every offbeat. There is one, though the seventh of the eight has a D and instead of a D sharp on the top. And that's all there is to it for the strings. The drums will come together really quick. Looks like these are off by a little bit. There we go, now it's fixed. That's what happens when you have your snap to such a small increment. All right, so now let's get the kick in here. Pretty easy kick, kick line. Percussion comes in right on that little offbeat. The open hi hats here. That can be really quiet and it's panned to the right. Right there. Now we have everything except for the 808. 808, like I said is uh, faster decay let's go down to C here it starts on a C from what from what my ear tells me goes up to an F here and then to a G song uh, there is a part actually maybe even earlier on in the song where you take these flutes and you would just r rinse uh, move them up an octave from D sharp up here all the way up here sounds almost too high but that is where the song has them at and then it goes right back down Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Please feel free to leave comments uh, for future suggestions for future videos. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you have a chance to remake the video and get the sound closer to the original than I did. I'm sure it's possible. Again, thanks for watching, and have a good day.